Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Another stellar day for solar here today. All systems charged up. And that'll lead us right into the experiment we're going to do today. And another way to use the power station. Okay, well we've got this Ampere Time 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Uh, it's holding a charge right now, a resting charge of 13.19, which would be fine if I was going to leave it at rest, but I'm not. I'm going to uh, put this in a different application, and what I want to do is charge it up. And I want to charge it up fully before I move it into its new location for what it's going to be used for. And I'm going to charge it up today using this 14.6 volt 20 amp charger plug-in style from Power Queen. Uh, they sent this out to me a while back for a little bit of a review and uh, today's conditions are absolutely perfect for the way I wanted to uh, deploy it for its first use. So what we're going to do today is off of this power system here is plug that charger into the inverter and because this system now is on float and fully charged it has uh, the power queen 200 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery sitting at float right now 13.5 and i had the absorption set for 13.8 for 60 minutes so i'm where i want to be with that completely full and now i'm going to take the power queen here plug it into this watt meter and then hook it up to the ampere time and I'm going to put a full charge on this so <laughs> important to grab the right leads These could be just a little bit wider. Those, what I was referring to is these could have just a little bit more space. You might have to uh, split this casing and separate those wires for uh, batteries and battery banks that have wider terminals than these. These are just at the minimum to, to reach here. But nice heavy duty plastic coverings over the metal you might be able to hear that it's a red light on that indicates it's charging barely warm to the touch drawing 325 323 watts yeah, just fluctuating a little bit. Pretty much 325 watts right there. And I want to show you on the, the Victron app what the array looks like right now. So, like I said, it's on a fully charged uh, battery bank. It's allowing 200 and, well, fluctuating because of the clouds, but we did see a spike of 220 some watts that that 300 watt array was allowing into the system. And if we get another burst of sun, I'll show you that it'll take this right back up to the float value of 13.5 and let in just enough power to keep powering that charger. I'll wait for this cloud to clear out and see if I can't just show that to you perfectly. And while we're waiting for that cloud to clear out, you can probably hear this fan running on this. It does run continuously. I mean just barely warmth to the touch. Hardly anything at all. And if you'll notice, that's the only sound you hear 
coming from this generator. There's no gasoline generator firing this thing up. We're running this off of solar and charging another battery. And under these conditions, it's just perfect time to do that. Yeah, these are just barely warm too. I really like that. I've reviewed some other uh, chargers and some of them got a little hot for my liking. Just barely warm there. Just barely warm. And I'll put the multimeter on this. Now, of course, this is under charge. And you can see what was 13.19 at rest uh, with 20 amps coming into it right now. 13.53, of course, that's not accurate. That's just what the 20 amps has pushed it up to right now. This charger will run until the battery is full and then it will cut off and then of course the battery has a BMS that would cut off at the uh, proper voltage too. This battery charger will cut off when this uh, battery has gone to 14.2. So that's under under a charge of course. So this is just another way that I use uh, this power station here, uh, besides for some shop loads and household loads as I'm chasing power around on different appliances and, and testing them out, I am definitely using it and for my purposes like this condition here. I've got that power queen down there completely full sitting at float. Had a battery in need of a charge and I'm not going to fire up a gas generator to to plug this in there's no reason that that inverter that charge controller the battery those solar panels they don't care what you're plugging into them as long as it's within their specifications you know they don't know that i'm just using this charger to charge another battery but that's what this is it's a charging just the same as a, a gas generator i've got the power i can do it that's how i that's how i like to do it too Well, the clouds haven't totally cooperated, but anyway, I did disconnect the uh, charger just for a moment so I wouldn't have to talk over it. And you can see the battery just bam right now with 80, 90 some watts coming off of the panels, which is a 300 watt array. It's just holding this, uh, the power queen, uh, right where I've got it set. 13.5 fluctuates a little down to 13.48 or 4.9 and then back up and it just constantly adjusts just to keep it in that range I was really hoping and maybe I'll try it right now because I can see the Sun's bursting out now I Let's see here If I could get so lucky Of course usually as I hook these things up the the clouds come in. Okay, so there you can see we know I'm looking at 323 watts going through that watt meter running that 20 amp charger and now the array has opened up to 225 watts roughly and that's about as good as it's going to get under these conditions and then of course there's a little cloud anyway it just kind of proves my point that uh, even when I get up to near 300 watts like here it is back up into the 250 range that takes my usage of this charger that I'm running now down to about 100 watts, roughly, give or take, just depending on what's happening up in the sky. Like right now, nice sustained sun is holding a nice sustained 242 watts. And it's not jumping around too much because there's a nice big burst. And given the angle of the panels out there, that's as good as it's going to be for today, unless those panels were to cool off dramatically one way or the other but there it is 246 watts coming in off the array the battery staying right at float not touching this the power queen battery and putting 20 20 amps into this off the charger right now so there it is one system complementing another 322 watts is what that charger is using right now so yeah 
that's today's project. Yeah, I like this. Cool to the touch. Cool to the touch. Cool to the touch. 254 watt sunshine coming in. One battery at float and pumping power into another one. That's what I like. Aloha.